It only takes a wire to kill hundreds of people. Such a tragedy occurred on a luxury cruise, Antonia Greza, in 1962. The story begins with fantastic music, which the rich upper class people were enjoying at a party. Suddenly, someone activated a hand tool. A wire quickly passed through the crowds. Hundreds of people were cut in half in an instant, except a girl in a white dress as she was shorter. The scene now goes to 40 years later. A team of six people, their profession is unique. They help to salvage sunken cruisers. On the screen, they were celebrating a recent accomplishment of a big task in a park. A pilot who claimed to work for Meteorological Bureau approached the team. He told everyone that he found an idle cruise in the ocean. He suggested taking everyone there to find out, and perhaps there were many treasures hidden in the cruise. Although the team was not sure about it, everyone agreed to try their luck. After several days of sailing, they saw the cruise. The leader took his team on the cruise and left a teammate behind to take care of the boat. When everyone reached the cruise upper deck, the long-haired man fell off, and his foot was stuck. When Maureen was saving him, she vaguely saw a little girl in a white dress looking at herself from below. In the control room, they discovered a walking electronic watch. This type of watch was not invented yet in 1962. It seems that someone else had been here earlier. The team decided to have a closer look at every corner of the cruise separately. Maureen came to a dry swimming pool. She found many bullet shells. At this time, the little girl suddenly appeared. Maureen was scared and left the swimming pool. Then there was blood flowing out from the bullet hole in the swimming pool. Maureen and the pilot went to the laundry room. When they opened the door. Many corks washed out with water. On the other side, our black brother found emitted secrets with red lipstick mark. He didn't see the woman in the red dress sitting in one corner. The leader found a newly opened wine in another room. When he was about to smell it, he saw a face flash by in a mirror. The strange event made everyone uncomfortable. At the same time, Maureen discovered a few boxes of gold bars. Everyone was excited and decided to bring the gold boxes to their boat. Upon loading the gold on the leaf of the cruise, they pressed the button. The little girl ran over and shouted. The boat exploded. The teammate who stayed on the boat died. Now everyone was trapped on the cruise. The long-haired brother and the blonde-haired brother were hungry. They ate the old cans left there for forty years. After a few mouthful, they just realized they were eating bugs. Our black brother went back to the piano and drank wine. Then the scene returned to the way it was forty years ago. The beautiful female singer kept seducing our black brother. He then fell off the deck and died. At this time, when the leader was drinking, he saw the captain of this cruise in a daze. The captain told him that in the past he also involved in a rescuing work in a red cruise, and tried to move gold boxes found in it. When the captain showed him a photo of the only survivor on the red cruise, the leader was scared. Then the leader lost his mind. He attacked everyone. The team member had to stun the leader and lock him in a dark room. Maureen found the dead body of the little girl in a room. At this time, she appeared. She told Maureen what happened on this cruise forty years ago. Back then, the cruise was conspired, and the chef were killed. Then the fat chef put poison in the food. The passengers in the room were dead after eating. Then all the people at the party were killed with a wire. The remaining survivors were all caught and shot to death at the swimming pool. She was captured and tortured. In the end, she committed suicide in the room. The mastermind was the female singer and the vice captain. When the workers were about to distribute the gold evenly, the vice captain shot everyone. But when the vice captain turned to his beauty, he was killed by the female singer.
she did this for another man. At this moment, the man came over and kissed her. While the female singer was not paying attention, she was hung to death by a machine. At this time, Maureen saw the man's face. This man was the pilot. This man was a messenger from hell. He used humans' desire and temptations to lead them into traps with the motive of killing them. After saving enough souls, he could send them to hell for him to continue his life. Maureen understood now. She went to see the leader, but the leader had drowned. The other teammates who went down to the water to repair the boat were all dead. They were injured and cut by the machine. Maureen was in pain. She decided to bomb the entire cruise and let this tragedy end. The pilot processes to be her friend. He proposed Maureen to get together and transport the gold bars back and they enjoy life for now. However, Maureen did not buy in. She saw the devil's trick. Both of them fight. In a critical moment, Maureen took a gun and detonated the bomb. The cruise explode and sink, and the souls trapped in the cruise since 1962 were released. A passing by ship rescued Maureen. When Maureen was about to be sent to hospital, she saw several crew members loaded boxes of gold on the cruise, and the pilot was following behind them. The tragedy of greed will repeat, and this nightmare will not end. The free gold bars tended the man's desire to be rich easily. Once they could not overcome greed, demons overtake their thoughts, and mankind likely makes the wrong decisions. Well, that's all for today. If you like my video, please subscribe. Until next time, bye!